morning guys I'm in the car as usual just dropping off some post boxes parcels so I want to talk about signs of entity attachment in my last video I talked about uh, how empaths have to be really careful about who they let in their circle and just in their environment basically because if somebody is jealous envy and vicious envious um, or just sick um, we can attract psychopath quite easily and we have to stay on the light side of things in life and like also it's really difficult when you come to this earth to decipher what's light and what's dark right even even that is like because some people say certain people and their behavior and their belief system is dark why those people think they are in, in truth anyway so whew, life is ex exhausting but i wanted to talk about entity attachments and the symptoms so the first symptoms I recognized were feeling incredibly tired and not just tired but incredibly trained and sluggish and exhausted to the max <laughs> so very exhausted very tired we're very trained so I still was working last year and I came home and I was really exhausted so I had to sleep and I slept sometimes like three hours just for a casual nap um, and increase in appetite sometimes decrease in appetite but I had increase in like appetite for like sweets or juice I was drinking lots of juice and I was drinking more coffee because I was so tired and then whoop And then I, oh, I really want my life back. Whew. It's rough, guys. Um, but I look good. Um, and then feeling tired, feeling drained, feeling sluggish, feeling overwhelmed, feeling angry all of a sudden, out outbursts of emotions, like really, like when you have your period or something, like really outburst of um, spontaneous emotional outbursts like crying all of a sudden um, and then increase in appetite decrease and then like gain uh, weight gain for no reason like not eating more but gaining weight for no reason and like around your waist sometimes and you're like what it doesn't make any sense because I didn't eat more um, so yeah weight gain and then um, um, and then outbursts of emotions and then maybe migraines headaches aura migraines I had this I went for a run and I all of a sudden I started to have like numbness in my hand and my in my face and then I started to have because my migraines are usually without headache um, but I had like numbness in my face and in my hand and then from there headache and forgetful like forgetting things forgetting words which is really scary um, it was COVID, like my mom said something about COVID and I was like, COVID, 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 I know the word, but I don't know the meaning. And the moment it comes, it also leaves you as well. So we called the ambulance, I went to the hospital and they checked everything and couldn't find anything. So I was like, maybe that is an indicator, right? And then um, aura migraines, even strokes. Like honestly, if you're older and you have an entity and it attacks you, 
um, from the back, from the neck, from the head, it goes, or you have a curse on you, it goes into your head, it can be a stroke as well. Um, and then from there, um, like nightmares and s weird sleep patterns, maybe you can't sleep anymore, maybe you cannot fall asleep anymore. And then I experienced weird behavior of animals around me, which is scary for an empath because we usually are, most of us are really good with empath, uh, with animals. And uh, my cat had this weird behavior one night when I was uh, watching TV and she was like licking herself nervously um, and like shaking her head and running around and watching, like she was really like truly watching the wall where nothing was no no insect or anything it was nothing and she watched the wall for like seconds and, and then was running around the living room and I had this weird feeling of like someone was in the room as well um, so yeah and then another night I would experience um, like really weird symptoms in my leg you know when you fall asleep and you have this like um, <coughs> rushes of energy like tremors or like you know rushes of energy and then you have um, and you know, don't know where it comes from and then you um, I'm not sure if they have what I want to the supermarket okay um, so this one night I was in bed and I was house sitting in Canada Victoria and I was um, in my bed and I was sleeping and then I had like rushes of like you know when it feels like a spontaneous kind of tremor in your body and the dogs on the bed were barking but they were not barking at me moving, but they were like barking out of fear and looking at something. Because if I just move my legs, right, um, they would bark at me and like be irritated at me. But they would bark and look at something. So like super scary stuff. But I wasn't aware, like I was not aware. I mean, I was aware, but I was not like taking action upon it, which is my nightmare every day um, and then another dog would constantly scratch the door and then she also died a few months after I left uh, Canada of cancer and I feel like it might be the entity might have been might be the reason for it right but I don't know and then yeah weird behavior of like my cat would like be nervous and this dog would like constantly scratch the door and I let her out to pee all the time and then the other dog like barking and like scared, scared whining kind of at, at me or at something and uh, yeah um, appetite changes or increasing or decreasing uh, uh, body parts are going numb or weird you cannot walk anymore like a, it's a really aggressive it can be really aggressive and it takes lots of energy from you like actual physical energy not just like in your head or in your mind but like true physical body energy it takes from you and you cannot walk anymore or not too far you don't you cannot work out anymore or not too far um yeah and then yeah that's it maybe it's just part one see ya <laughs>